Hi guys, uh, this is another important video. But before I dive into this video, I actually want to thank you guys for for your support and for your love because um, you guys actually, if you guys didn't um, appreciate my video, you won't subscribe. And now I have gotten to uh, 1,000 subscribers. So I'm very grateful. I'm so happy. I'm so, so, so grateful for your support. Um, I'm so grateful. I know a lot of people will watch videos. They won't bother to like. And all these things are very important to creators like us. But majority of you that watch my video, you like my video. Most of you subscribe. Most of you share the video. And that is very, very nice of you guys. That is very kind of you guys. That is very... Um, that is humanity there, right there, supporting one another. I'm so grateful. And this is even one of the reasons why I have decided that anything that I, everything that I know about trading, I will dish it out here free. I'm not charging. I'm not collecting any money. I don't hold courses. I don't set signal. I don't do all these things. Every information that you guys need to know, um, you guys will have it here. In fact, the last training I did, the last training I did, I, I only collected 5,000 error. I know how much most of my colleagues, I know how much most of my colleagues collect for training. Some of them collect $200 uh, for, for training session. But not $200, that is about as over 200,000 naira. Okay, I only collected 5,000 naira just to maintain my generator and my data and all that. And in fact, I could remember somebody chatting me up on TikTok and said, how oh, will you be collecting so much, uh, so little money that he said they feel that it's fake because the money is too small. So you can see some of the things that happens, but the reality is that there are many of us out there that are very kind and feel that everybody deserves to make it in life. So I'm so happy and I'm grateful to you guys. So um, today, actually, as a result, I will be I will be um, showing you guys two tools. One is an indicator. The other one we can call it two. Um, so um, two tools, basically, that you should be using when you trade. And these two tools, one is RSI, uh, one is, that, that is an indicator actually, Relative Strength Index. And one of the reasons why I want to emphasize on this RSI is because a lot of you have been complaining that I don't want to show my settings. So in this video, I will show you my settings. And um, in fact, some people commented on, the, on, on YouTube here, why some people went as far as <laughs> going to buy uh, Telegram to, to, to indicate that. And I've decided that I'm going to show you my setting um, for the RSI. The second tool that I feel that you should be using is your Fibonacci. So I'm going to show you my Fibonacci settings and how I use Fibonacci as a person because I use it. Um, but my major indicator that I use is RSI. So I'm going to show you my RSI indicate settings and how I use RSI. And then I'm going to show you uh, FIB, my FIB settings and how I use FIB. Uh, meanwhile, these are just to support my price action trading strategy, okay? What I trade purely is, is pure price action. I just use this tool to support whatever uh, I'm doing just to get more confirmation. We term it confluence, more confirmation to, to encourage me to take that trade, okay? But let me start with RSI. I'm still going to take you to my computer screen and show you all these things practically, how I use it and my settings and everything. But... There is something I actually want to say about RSI to uh, the general way, which is looking for overbought and oversold. When the market is overbought, they try to sell. When the market is oversold, they try to buy. That is how some people use uh, RSI. But let me tell you something for a fact. Trading that way or using that indicator that way is actually not too ideal. It works, but it works, but not to, to maximum. The reason is because RSI indicator, relative strength indicator, is a momentum indicator. And if you understand physics very well, uh, physics very well, and you know what momentum is, it tends to, uh, you will know that it shouldn't basically be used that way. If you want to use RSI, you should be using it to measure the strength, the momentum of buyers and sellers in the market. Some people look for a strong momentum candle like all these big candles for them to measure momentum but what rsi the, what uh, that is actually what rsi tells you when price gets a support or resistance zone yeah 
you can actually know if there is, for example, if price should get to a resistance zone, you can actually try to check with your momentum indicator if there is still momentum to the upside. Since the market is moving to the upside, now the market or the price action gets a resistance zone. Now, you need to, uh, one thing that RSI can tell you is to check if there is still momentum, uh, that momentum to that price action. If there is still momentum to the upside, it means that that resistance zone may not hold and price may actually shoot above it, we test it and then continue it move upward. That is the power of RSI. But a lot, a lot of people, um, they don't use RSI the way it should be used. Okay? And in, uh, one of my videos, when I talk about RSI and how I use it, a lot of people call, ah, this is divergence now, this is simple divergence. In fact, you don't even, you didn't even teach it very well. There are different types of divergence. I don't care about if there is different type of divergence, if it is called divergence or no. Understanding what it's actually, what, what's actually going on. How, what do I do, what, what the purpose, the main reason, so what that particular uh, tool is doing, is the, is the concept, is the thing that you need to understand. Forget about the grammars or the different types of clinical, clinical. That is why a lot of you make lose money. You just hear some technologies that this is this, this is that, but you not understanding the concept is the problem and how to use it. So either it is called divergence. Yes, basically it's divergence. I can I agree with the fact that it's called divergence, but you need to also understand the fact that, but why it is different? Because I've seen a lot of people teach divergence and all of that, but why it's different in my own case is because I combined it with price action. And that is how it should be. When you are using RSI, you should combine it with price. You need to understand if there is still momentum. You need to make sure if the price, if there is still momentum, if the price uh, is still going to move up or down, if there is still momentum for the price to move up and down. And you can only identify that using your RSI. Yeah, that is the first thing that you need to understand about RSI. Now, let's move to the Fibonacci as part, which is the second tool that I want you to understand. Fibonacci basically, and the reason why traders are using Fibonacci is because of the fact that majority of traders tend to enter their trade from that golden zone. So the idea is if majority or if a lot of big players are using Fibonacci or looking out for that golden zone retracement, then you should also join them in looking out for it because when they enter there, then and you join them since they are the one that pushed the market definitely the market is going to head in the direction that you've anticipated so it is only good to also uh to to consider to consider trading in that zone okay that is fibonacci golden zone and all that okay so that is basically fibonacci there is nothing really more about fibonacci they just want to um yeah basically that is it for fibonacci fibonacci is just uh, a lot of trader, a lot of trader, majority of traders wait for that golden zone retracement before they enter. So you too should consider as a retail trader, should consider entering at that zone. Okay. But like I said earlier, I do not just enter trade uh, like that. If I see price retrace to my golden zone, I still want to see price action tells me or show that reverse opportunity. If I do not see it, even if it retraces to the good zone, I'm not entering until the market actually show me. I'm talking about the price now. The price shows me that the market is about to reverse at that zone. So this is why most of the time when I take my trade, I tend to win. I hardly lose trade. It's not that I don't lose trade. In fact, last week I lose most of my trades. Yeah. I'm not that I'm immune to losing trade. I lose, in fact, last week I didn't make any profits for my trade. Let me just be frank with you. I lose trade, but it's on a rare occasion. I don't know, uh, for the past three weeks now, I've not lost any trade, not until I lose last week. Yeah. So uh, enough of the story. Let me take you to my computer screen now and see, show you how my settings for these two, two tools and how I use them to combine with price action to get my a1 entry opportunity so let's go now oh before then sorry before then please i still want you guys to subscribe if you are yet to subscribe you can see like i said earlier i'm just one of those traders or if not the only trader that is ready to give you everything for free 
everything for free and if you feel that you don't feel like subscribing to my channel at least like the video show some love some love some appreciation so like this video so that um youtube can actually recommend it to more people so thank you now let's move to my computer screen for real and do and let me show you how this works so guys um now we are on my computer screen so let's check uh let me show you the power of these major tools the rsi and the fibonacci uh rsi is an indicator um fib, fib is uh is a tool but let me start with rsi see uh first of all i want you guys to understand that like i said earlier that rsi is uh, a momentum indicator the mathematical um principle or the algorithm that is behind that indicator is to measure the 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 power or the force of buyers and sellers in the market you can check google and type um uh, mat uh, mathematical formula for rsi or the mathema or the algorithms uh, uh rsi algorithm stuff like that i'm into it i'm a programmer myself so i understand these things so i'm telling you now that if you want to use rsi you should be using it to measure the strength of buyers or sellers in the, ma in the market okay so let's let's let me first of all let me show you my settings like i promised and then from the settings i'm going to review certain things to you well if you come here uh, your indicator i believe you all know um uh, how to install this just type rsi or you you can write it in full like this relative strength index as you can see here click on it i already have it uh if you click on it this is what it's going to look like okay this is what it's going to look like so all you just have to do is uh let me just show you my setting now um let me go to setting okay so first of all the inputs which is the first part here you don't need to change the length just leave the length to 14 okay leave the length to 14 there is nothing there you see this divergence eh? this is where the strength or the main purpose of this indicator lies it is merely to measure no so let me say the measuring of these um sellers and buyers in the market they term it divergence i've seen so many people come under my comments and say oh this is basic divergence now you don't even know how to teach it very well see i'm not concerned about the term or what is being called i'm concerned about the purpose the functionality of the of of the indicator and how to make that uh usage or the advantage or the opportunity it gives you get so that is the idea and i'm going to show you because a lot of people don't know that something like this exists i'm going to come back to this so i'm not going to check it first i still want to do the um i will come back i will show you other things so come to style what i do is that this time i remove this one here i i don't need it i remove it this is my setting for rsi actually i remove it then i come to upper band i remove it that is the line here and this lower band uh where is it lower band i remove it this middle band i leave it because when the price is in an uptrend it trades above the middle band uh, above the middle band if it is in a uh, sell, uh, if it is a bearish market it trades uh, below the middle band um but i don't i don't know that i use that as a strategy but that is it then i remove the background fill this color i remove it because i i don't like seeing i make it plain like this that's what i want to see okay then is there any other thing that i remove uh okay this overbought and oversold gradient i remove it that is the color that shows if it is overbought or oversold because i don't use it for overbought and oversold okay so that's it that, those are just the few things i i love to remove then i always like to change the color of the rsi so i always like dark green okay something like this okay so this i love it okay so let's start from here now if you are using this indicator all right if you are using this indicator you should be looking for what they call divergence okay what they call divergence but in my case you can't call it divergence because if you are going to call it divergence it means the price action this is something that um a lot of uh, a lot of uh, uh, uh one of those people that commented on my video last time so oh, this is pure divergence and stuff like that that is the mistake they made 
if it is going to be a divergence then you must have something like this take for example uh sorry i need to find not this one i'm looking for a tool i think it's here okay yeah it's here this let's see uh sorry i need to delete this let's say the price is moving like this and then the rsi maybe the rsi moves like this sorry let's say the rsi move like this the same way then instead of that third leg the rsi move like this Let me see okay now when the when it makes this high the rsi makes the same high when it makes this high low it does the same when it makes this high it makes the same then when it makes this low it makes the same then when it makes this high here okay what did the rsi do let me arrange this very well so that it will be, to be clear okay what happened the rsi in its own case cannot so let me let me just say uh okay then let me bring this down coming let's say it comes down like this sorry so now let's say when the when it makes this high it makes the high when it makes this low it makes this low now when it makes this high the price this is the price now the price makes a high that is higher than the previous high but the RSI failed to make a high that is higher than the previous high. So in that case, you have what we call divergence. Okay. Uh, where is it here? It's this is it, divergence. Because it doesn't follow each other. Now we have divergence, right? So that is basically divergence. But in a situation whereby you have something like something different. Let me remove this so that I can. Uh, the situation whereby I want you to watch this video to the end because you are going to learn a lot from it. So take your time. So let's say in a situation whereby you have price move like this. Then make the same high, equal high something like this now you can see this is double tops same high now you have your rsi do something like this now what do you call this basically you can see this is double top equal high and just assume okay and then look at this okay so now you can see the case is different okay so as i was saying you can see the case is different however we, we still call this divergence but the reality is that when the price was price initially when the price the first example i gave the price was actually making higher high the price was making a higher high but the rsi at the, at the last part was not making a higher high it was making lower lower low i guess right now the case is different in this case the price action is showing lack of momentum to price itself is showing lack of momentum to the upside that is why you have this double top now your rsi make that confirmation by failing to also break at least move above this initial high here this initial high here so this is two confirmation here price telling you showing you a reversal pattern then the rsi which is the momentum indicator telling you that there is no strength from the buyers to push the price of this particular asset to the upside so this is basically what i do I combine the price action with the momentum okay with this divergence so that is why my own my own trick my my own strategy is more 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 powerful unlike somebody who just trade 
the divergence like that i'm going to show you something real quick, uh, later on if you follow uh without without following price action pattern like if you just try to trade price action without uh, you try to use this divergence of a thing follow it the way people talk about it uh without considering price action pattern i will show you what can actually happen in the long run so that is the first thing i want you to put in your hand so now let's look at practical charts now let's just check the chart and see uh what's going on here okay so let's start with this first trade that i took here these are some of the trades i have taken over the time uh, in uh, euro usd so let's look at this first one okay um this trade is is actually uh it's actually against the trend yeah if you do my if you follow my top down analysis you know that this trade is actually against the trend uh if you follow if you know if you understand my strategy or how i trade very well but most times i trade against this i trade against the trend to capture uh small trades like this but now let's look at the trade first the first thing i want you to take a look at is the fact that after this retracement the market came to form a double top a uh, double bottom there before i enter the trade now this is uh a price action pattern that shows continuation okay it means that uh i don't know what's going on with my charts just shaking it means that price moves up come down go up again come down we test uh this particular uh uh this particular resistant turn to support now this place now so this is a key zone you can see it is respected here it was a resistance here then it market retraces down here some buyers came in uh try to buy uh to some extent it retraces down again they push the market up from here again it came down so was push up came down again so the before uh, uh i use it as an up entering opportunity here but what i look out for i check the arrow my rsi to confirm what's actually going on there so when i see this what i look out for was this okay this is what i look out for let me move this up a little i look out for this i saw this divergence i saw that uh when the market got it sorry uh let me zoom this so that we can see it properly okay so what i noticed was that let's move it okay so what i noticed is that when the price got here the last time here i realized that the momentum can do uh it's uh it's struggling to break the initial low here so what i just have to wait for is a move from this uh indicator to move up a little bit and then that is just just for me to see uh a a a, a, a candle that gives me confirmation like uh, like this red candle uh, like this green candle here okay so the reality is that as soon as i saw this and i saw this second leg what i do was i enter from here so that's the first thing and then the market got here again give me these double tops again and this market being a bearish market i i i know that certainly i will be i know certainly i will be selling this trade so what i do is that i look for my trade again I look for my uh, divergence again and as you can see that's it right there and you can see my price action pattern that shows reversal and i combine it with my uh, momentum indicator here when i see the momentum because when the price got here this momentum indicator cater ought to have gotten to this point too ought to have made the same high with this indicator with this high here ought to have made so if the indicator is still here and the price is already showing rejection at the second uh, uh at the second top here then you should be looking to sell that's a reversal opportunity there so and i took the opportunity and i sold then the price came down 
from this double top uh, bottom again and i try to check my rsi once again to see what's actually going on there and i also saw this divergence same thing and i took the trade then the market continue again give me this double top again what did i do i check the momentum to see if there is still momentum to the upside but what did i see i noticed that the market was actually struggling and i shot the the trade okay i shot the market as well around that side too so now this is another opportunity here this head and shoulder pattern right head and shoulder pattern this is an opportunity for me to enter but i will combine if i want to trade this because i didn't enter the trade actually if i want to trade this i will combine it with uh um my momentum indicator i want to see some level of that i want to see divergence or so so if you look at it from here there is no divergence here the market make this low and lower low here and the same thing is what happened here sorry that is the same thing that happened here as you can see so there is no divergence here so uh when the second show that happened uh First of all, when the second shoulder happened, I can see this price action uh, reversal pattern. I know this is a reversal pattern, and then the market already showing me uh, momentum to the upside. Let me remove this. Check this. There is divergence here. There is divergence here okay so from here okay i think it's from here okay there's divergence from here to from here to this place that divergence sorry i marked the wrong part i was marking this point and this point okay it was this point and this point that i marked initially that I, uh, that is from here to this place there is no divergence but from here to this place there is a divergence here so as soon as i see this divergence i'm not going to enter i want to see the market go up and form either a double bottom or this kind of head and shoulder pattern and somehow too you can refer to it as a uh, double bottom too because if you draw uh, this from here that's it it touch here and this is the second bottom here so and you can also refer to it as a shoulder pattern anyhow you want to see it so uh this would have been a good entering opportunity but uh, i didn't enter the trade so that's one thing i want you to understand about racer use it like this uh either you call it divergence or whatever you want to call it but ensure that when you are it's actually for divergence let i be to, to be frank um but the reality is when you are using it you don't just trade it blindly by just entering uh like for example now in this case a lot of people will enter here yeah which is this kind of trade now is going to go well but most of the time it won't go well so you have to combine it with price action pattern reversal pattern okay so uh i said i want to show you something uh about this indicator earlier what is going on why is my chart shaking and i'm going to use it today i don't know what's going on okay so let's go back to that i want to show you something so if you click this and activate it look at what happened the two automatically plots let me bring this up the two automatically plot that uh divergence for you look at the one i plotted here you plotted it for me already this is a bull market and i took the trade look at this other one too plotted this one for me to be plotted this one for me too you can see here here but now there's something i want to show you pay attention to this part you will discover that there is two bull here there is two bull here around this point let me bring it out there is two bull here one is from here to this place which is this one and this one then the second one is from here to this place which is which is this one sorry which is this which is this one from here to this place okay now will you want to take now the market show you divergence here the market is giving you lower lows uh, and the market is giving you lower highs here yeah 
will you want to enter this is a divergence will you want to enter this kind of trade i won't the reason being that there is no price action pattern i don't see any price action reversal price action here that shows that the market is going to go up and if you decide to take now the market will move a little bit look at where the my the, the price got to and then it shoot down your stop loss would have been hit so this is why you don't just take it blindly okay so i won't take this i won't take such divergence now look at this one too that i took here it, it plotted it was plotted okay it was plotted and look at the one i was talking about here which is from here to this place i told you there is a divergence here uh, you just have to look at it very well it's line is light slants so this is a good opportunity and you can see the markets run from here okay look at this one here which is from here to this place and the market actually shoot down but if you are taking to, uh, 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 entering this kind of trade definitely your take profit should be your first take profit should be around here uh what am i doing okay let me take this should be around here that should be your first take profit and definitely if you enter you might probably close your trade around here but uh <clears throat> that is that's the reality you can see the big opportunity but i won't take you to because i'm not seeing any clear price reversal pattern here so that is basically for rsi now let's go to the second two which is feed now feed my setting there is nothing really difficult about it what i just do is that uh my setting is just there are just three uh areas that i look for in a pin let's say i'm to use feed in this street okay take a look at this okay if i want to use fib this is what i use fib so let's say now when i plan to, when i plan to take this trade if i want to use more confirmation if i want to get more confirmation <clears throat> i will use my fib like this and see if this price this double bottom uh, retracement this price retraces to my golden zone oh sorry this is in a reverse uh sorry i i i drew that wrongly it should be for, like this thank you like this yeah So, so the idea now is, you can see it it, it, may, it retraces to my golden zone, and um, this is what I would be looking out for. And if the price retraces for the first time, I won't take it yet until I see some kind of price action happening in that my golden zone retracement, or this my red zone retracement, which is seventy eight percent retracement zone. So uh, this is how I use Fibonacci, and these are just the three lines that I three areas that I did go to zoom, which is 50% and 61% retracement zone, and the 78 retracement zone. That's those are the areas that I look out for. So the other ones I just remove it, okay, as you can see here. So I don't trade, I don't just uh and I don't just enter. If price you retrace once, I won't enter. I want to see price go up and retest it like twice, like show me some double bottom like this or some kind of retracement and format and shoulder pattern uh, in this area as i see the second sh the second shoulder i will then enter so uh another thing if for example i want to use uh let me remove this if i if for example i want to use it in this case now uh if i want to use my fibonacci in this case if i want to confirm i know this is the last result so to the new tests no so uh it's going to be so now i can see the price retraces to my uh 78 um red zone so what i will just be waiting for is double bottom like this or head and shoulder pattern taking place here before i enter the trade so that is how i use my trade that is how i use fibonacci the fibonacci part is actually very straightforward i just want you to know that when you are using fibonacci make sure that even when price retraces to that your body zone Make sure it gives you some kind of price action reversal pattern, double top, double bottoms, uh, head and shoulder pattern, reverse head and shoulder pattern, three top, three top bottoms. Those reversal patterns are given in the zone before you enter. Because sometimes when you just enter, let's say the price trade and you just enter, you don't, okay, just imagine that the price got here and you enter. Look at this retracement. There is possibility that your 
let's say price got here and be like oh this is my and you put your stop loss maybe you trade and put your stop loss and look at this retracement back the second leg could have hit your stop loss so this is why sometimes you just have to wait okay so that's uh that's it so i believe this video is helpful if there's anything you don't understand that you want me to expand it on please comment it in the, put it in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to the video i really i, I really like that and if you don't feel like subscribe me at least like the video thanks and see you in my next video